1.5 SCV Texas Confederate Flags Sidebar Confederate Stars and Bars Flag Evolution As a modern era oddity, the Confederate battle flag is a concept that almost everyone instinctively understands, but no one can assign a single definition or even produce a standard flag design to this three-part noun, Confederate, Battle, and Flag. For the American Civil War, especially on the Confederate side, abound with diverse battle flags flown by the Confederacy government versus military corps and regiments, even distinctions between full-fledged regular standing armies versus ad hoc volunteer units, for each combat unit was entrusted with his own Confederate battle flag design inscribed with battlefield accomplishments or duly noted battle engagement honors. Hence, this sidebar presentation is for the curious-minded audience and younger generations to know what material facts are bestowed onto our historical heritage, that our republic exists to promote free flow of information among its citizens and to educate each generation with lawful knowledge. And given the subject of Confederate battle flags, American founding father Alexander Hamilton proclaimed it best that men are more reasoning rather than reasonable creatures. Thus, given our reasoning mortal heritage, grant me the indulgence to reveal what I have secured from due diligence self-research on the subject of Confederate battle flag. For the only history worth knowing is the history you do not yet know. As stated beforehand, the Confederate States of America utilized a variety of national flag standards, supplemented by each Confederate Army, Division, Regiment, to hoist its own unique flag design. To start out with, on the left side of presentation is the three official Confederate States of America battle flags. These flags represented the entire national entity during battle engagements. Hence, are Confederate battle flags in the literal sense of the word. The top one is the 1861 13-star design. Originally, there were only seven stars beforehand. Subsequently, Confederacy elected to incorporate other American southern states or portions thereof joining their war effort, thus deriving to ultimate 13 stars. This literally is the original stars and bars for it had stars in upper left canton and red white striped bars. To the casual observer immediately note this flag design is reminiscent of the US stars and stripes layout used by the rival federal army which created battlefield confusion from smoke and dust kicked up in the heat of engagements, along with the fact that there were obviously no modern communication hardware. Hence, only way to command your troops' movements in middle of battle was to use bugle calls or drummer boys. And as such, this flag design was replaced after July 1861 Battle of Bull Run federal title, also called Battle of Manassas, Confederate title, in Northern Virginia due to close visual similarity with USA national flag. Also no differences in battle naming convention, Bull Run versus Manassas. Federal authors prefer titles on the nearest geographical locale, such as Hilltop Stream River, while Confederate authors prefer nearest urban center or transportation junction. 
and with coincidental truth being stranger than fiction, not to be outdone, the three-fourth ratio stars and bars Confederate battle flag as we know it today actually made its debut in March 1861 Confederacy Flag Adoption Convention. The Confederacy Flag Design Chairman was William Miles of South Carolina, and he submitted the modern colloquial stars and bars design for adoption, as shown on lower right corner of presentation. Design consisted of a blue cross of St. Andrew overlaid on red flag background with seven stars sold into the blue cross band. The blue St. Andrew cross is significant even to this day, for high percentage of Southern Americans commanded Scottish or Scot-Irish heritage. Thus, St. Andrew is officially the patron Christian, Catholic, and Orthodox saint of Scotland, Greece, and Russian Federation. Rationale for its X-style bars design is that when St. Andrew was martyred for his Christian beliefs, he insisted to be crucified in sideways cross manner and upside down, for he was not worthy to be crucified in the same manner as his teacher, Jesus Christ. Hence, this blue cross or blue bars design actually denoted a strong Judeo-Christian and European heritage theme for Americans in those southern states. Unfortunately for Chairman Miles in 1861, other Confederate state delegates ridiculed his design as pair of suspenders, along with awkward asymmetrical design layout of seven stars for the initial seven secessionist states in the blue cross banners. Thus, this 19th century stars and bars battle flag will have to wait some 90 years into the 20th century to become de facto representation of Southern pride, Southern culture, Southern heritage, Southern hospitality, etc. Among other things.